Hello everyone, this is the last video for this series. On this video, we are going to finish the Pomodoro logic and also implement sound. If you didn't watch the previous videos, you can find a link in the description. So, let's start. Let's now create the function to pause the short break. We can copy the name and create it here set the Pomodoro status like uh, in the other cases and this one is going to be pulse short break and uh, I create different status for uh, long break and short break because the time is different in uh, the short break you only have 5 minutes and in the long break 15 minutes so if you want to get the percentage and to resume and stop I think it's better to keep it in different states but now because the code is shared we can create a, a share method to both so first change only the states then call this method and I call this method pause break countdown and we can copy and uh, place here to create the pause long break and here start by canceling timer and then set the state Inside the set state, change the the main button text to resume Pomodoro because if it is pause, the button should say to resume. And uh, this method we just created, we can call it inside the switch case here. Now let's create the method to start the short break. This method is called when the short break is paused. So start short break. And let's create it here. First start by changing, like in the other cases, the Pomodoro status and then cancel the timer. Here set the timer as periodic and the duration is one second. It uh, receives the timer. And here you should check if the remaining time is bigger than zero. And uh, if it is bigger than zero, we should continue to decrease the timer. So set state. This is similar to when you are running Pomodoro. Here you are running the the break, but it is very similar. I could create a common method and then pass different arguments on the share code, and that's usually a good practice. But here for now, I want it to be more explicit and easier to explain. So set the main button text as button text pause and decrease the remaining time and this I can put it outside the timer because I only need to change it when um, 
the metal starts not every second. I think it's better this way. Okay, like this. Now, here we should play sound. We will implement that in a bit, but for now, let's finish this. So, I will just create the method here, play sound, and we will create this in a bit. But for now, let's just put a print here. Okay, now call it here. And uh, yeah. Let's continue this method. The remaining time is the Pomodoro total time. Because we just finished the short break, it should ask the user to start a new Pomodoro. Now cancel the timer and set the Pomodoro status as Paused Pomodoro. We can copy this and change inside the set state. Change the main button text to button text start. We can copy and uh, paste to create the long break. So start long break, change here the status from running short break to running long break. Also here the main button text to start new set because when you finish a long break it means that the set finished. So the Pomodoro status as well to set finish. And call it here. And here when the set finish and the user presses the button you have to increase the number of sets and start a new Pomodoro countdown. Okay, let's save it and uh, run. We can change these times just to make it smaller and test the whole application and not wait uh, 25 minutes for each uh, Pomodoro here. We will just wait five seconds, then three, seconds and then six which were the color of the start five seconds I start pause it's working it's changed colors I resume and uh, it finished the first Pomodoro now it uh, shows take short break three seconds and it works now let's start the second Pomodoro. You can see here the Pomodoro number changed as well. Okay, now a short break. You can see it's all working fine. Okay, now let's start the third Pomodoro. The last short break. And pause, resume, okay, it's all working. Now start the last Pomodoro of this set and then it should be the long break. Now long break, pause the long break, it works. Now let's see. And the set finish, now we can start a new set. Here you can see number zero. Now start a new set and change to one. 
It's all working fine. Now let's test the reset button. It's all working great. Now let's adjust the sound and we finished the whole application. To add sounds, I'm going to add here a new package. It's called Audio Players. Save it and it's getting the, the package. Let's wait. Now we can implement it. Create here a static audio cache variable. And uh, let's call it Player. Insert this. Is it equals to audio cache. Now we should have the import. So I hear the import. And to have no delay between when you want to play the sound and when the sound plays, you should load the sound before. So I'm going to load this sound in the init state. Super dot init state and then load the sound. And the, the file is called bell.mp3. Okay, now we should add this uh, asset, add here a new folder called assets and put the file here. You can find this file in the source code or you can add uh, another one if you want. Now you should import these assets, you can uncomment this, let's remove these comments to make it more clear. and. Uh, make sure the indentation is right like this and change here and remove this as well and change this to assets and here bell.mp3 save it now because you are importing new asset you should restart the application auto reload is not enough but let's first implement this logic. So here inside play sound call player.play and the file name. Like I said, you should stop it and restart the application. It's launching. Okay, now let's test it. We still have uh, five seconds only. And it works. Let's see if uh, it uh, also works in the, in the breaks. Yeah, it's, it's all <laughs> looking fine. Okay, so we finish here. So thanks guys for watching. And if you like this, don't forget to subscribe, press the like button and see you in the next one.